So far, I have been showing you quite simple shapes. But you can, of course, create very complex shapes also with, for example, polygon modeling. Let's say a hand, for example. If you were going to model a hand, one way to do it is to model the different parts separately and then combine them. For example, you could create the, the, the four, the five fingers uh, separately and the palm of the hand as one separate geometry and then maybe the arm as a cylinder, for example. And then you would combine these different parts into this very complex shape. And I'm going to show you a very simple example of how to combine polygon uh, geometries. But the, the uh, process is similar even when you do more complex shapes. What we have here is two cylinders <coughs> that we are going to combine. They are two separate objects now. One thing that is important is that the number of polygons or divisions should be the same on both objects. And this is the case here. They are similar in that respect. So I will combine the, the, uh, the ends of these two cylinders. In order to do that, I need to make an opening. Uh, and let's imagine that this is a finger that I'm going to put on a hand, palm, a palm, for example. And then I need a, a hole, so to speak, where the finger and the palm are going to meet. Or in this case, I need open ends to the two cylinders. And uh, in order to do that, I go into the component type mode. And I decide that I want to select only faces. And as usually, it's easy to do this in the uh, orthogonal view. I select uh, all the faces like this. But as you see, I have too many faces selected. And now by pressing down the uh, control key, I can deselect part of this selection like this. So now I have only the ends of the two cylinders uh, selected. And I can take away these polygons by just pressing delete. So I have two open ends here. <clears throat> then I need to bring the two parts quite close together. But leave a small gap in between. Something like that maybe. Then I need to combine these two geometries into one geometry. So I select both of them. And then under Mesh I have a tool that is called Combine. If I select that one, it will combine the two geometries into one geometry as this. But the gap between the two parts are still here, as you see. And in order to close that gap, I will use another tool that we have under Edit Mesh. And it is called Merge. And if I select that one, it will automatically merge these edges so that we don't have any gap anymore. Sometimes it can be difficult to use that merge tool. It might not work. Another option is to do it by hand, so to speak, using the uh, merge edge tool. If I select this tool, I select the two edges that I want to merge. And then I press enter on the keyboard. Like that. And uh, by selecting the new the Merge Edge tool again, I have it on the left here in the uh, interface of Maya. So I can select it here. Select two edges, press Enter. Select the tool again, 
select two edges, enter, and so on. In that way, I can work my way around the geometry to uh, close this gap. 